Λογητός ο Θεός είμαι πάντοτε νύχια ή και ύψον ας τον αιώνο. Αμήν. Δόξα Σύ ο Θεός, ελπίζω να δει δόξα Σύ, αγία θερής δόξα Σύ, βασιλά φουράνια, φράφητε το πνεύμα της αληθείας, ο πανταχού παρών και τα πάντα πληρών, ο θησαυρός των αγαθών και ζωής χορηγός, ελθέ και σκήνωσον εν ημίν και καθάρισον ημάς ο παπάσης κοιλίδος και σώσον αγαθέτας φυχάσιμον. O the God of the Merifo, the Immortal Mercinos, O the God of the Merifo, the Immortal Mercinos, O the God of the Merifo, the Immortal Mercinos, O to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever, and to the ages of ages, Amen. O Holy Trinity, of mercy on us, Lord, be gracious and our sins, Master, pardon our iniquities, Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for the name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, O to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever, and to the ages of ages, Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, honor to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship and fall down before our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before him, Christ the King and our God. Hearken, O Lord, and in my righteousness, and into my supplication, give ear to my prayer, which cometh down from deceitful lips, from before thy face, that my judgment come forth on my eyes. Behold, of brightness, thou hast proved my heart, thou hast visited in the night, thou hast tried me by fire, and unrighteousness was not found in me. That my mouth may not speak of the works of men, for the sake of the words that thy lips have I kept the ways that are hard, set my footsteps in thy paths, that my steps may not be shaken. I have cried, for thou hast hearkened unto me, O God, and clined near to me, and hearkened unto my words. Let thy mercies be made wonderful, O thou that savest him, I hope in thee from him that have resisted thy right hand. Keep me, O Lord, as the apple of thine eye, and the shelter of thy wings, for thou shelter me from the face of the ungodly which have oppressed me. Mine enemies have surrounded my soul, they have enclosed themselves with their own fat, their mouth has spoken pride. They that cast me out have now encircled me, they have set their eyes to look askance on the earth, they have taken me as might a lion ready for his prey, and as might a lion both dwelleth in hiding, arise, O Lord, overtake them, and drip their heels, deliver my soul from ungodly men, thy sword from the enemies of thy hand. O Lord, from thy few did I separate them from the earth and their life, yea, with thy hidden treasures have they really been filled, they have satisfied themselves with swine and put remnants to their babes. But as for me in righteousness shall I appear before thy face, I should be filled when thy glory is made manifest to me. Under thee, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul, O my God, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be put to shame, nor let mine enemies not be to scorn. Yea, let none that wait on thee be put to shame, let them be ashamed which are lawless without a cause. Make thy ways, O Lord, known unto me, and teach me in thy paths. Lead me in thy truth, and teach me, for thou art God my Savior. For in thee have I waited all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting. The sin of my youth and my ignorances. Remember not according to thy mercy. Remember thou me for the sake of thy goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he set a law for them as sin and way. He will guide and make in judgment, he will teach and make his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth, and the demons seek after his covenant and his testimonies. For the sake of thy name, O Lord, be gracious unto my sin, for it is great. Who is a man that feareth the Lord? You have set him along the way which he hath chosen his soul to dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of them that fear him, and his covenant shall be manifested unto them. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he it is. I'll draw my feet out of the snare, look upon me, and have mercy me, for I am one only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied. Bring me out from my necessities. Behold my loneliness and my toil, and forgive all my sins. Look upon mine enemies, for they are multiplied. And with an unjust hater do they hate me, keep my soul, and rescue me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have hoped in thee. The innocent and the upright have cleaved unto me, for I have waited on thee, O Lord, redeem Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blood of my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know mine iniquity, my sin is ever before me, against you when I have sinned and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified, and thy words prevail and are judged. 
For behold, I was conceived in iniquities and sins of memory that bear me. For behold, I was love truth, the hidden secret things, so the wisdom also made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than the snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones of be humble, they shall rejoice. Turn next face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, and God, renew right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy holy spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation, where the governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, saying, Ye ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For a thousand desired sacrifice, I give thee with open offerings, thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice in the God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humble, God will not despise. The good, O Lord, and I give pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded, and shall they be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with the relation of open offerings, and shall they offer the looks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, put down and under the age of the Buddhism in. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. When the stone had been sealed by the Jews, and the soldiers were guarding by the, thine immaculate body, thou didst arise on the third day, O Savior, granting life unto the world. Wherefore, the powers of the heavens cried out to thee, O life giver, glory to thy resurrection, O Christ, glory to thy kingdom, glory to thy dispensation, only friend of man. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou was transfigured on the mountain, O Christ, our God, showing thy disciples as thy glory as each one could endure. Shine thou on us, who are sinners all, thy light ever unending. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, light restore glory to thee. Wilt thou and ever unto the ages of ages, amen, O Theotokos, our to true vine, that have blossomed forth for us the fruit of life. Thee do we supplicate and intercede, O Lady, together with the apostles and all the saints, that our souls find mercy. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us so along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal of mercy in us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal of mercy in us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal of mercy in us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O holy trinity of mercy in us, Lord, be gracious and Lord, our sins, master, pardon our iniquities, holy one, for sit in heal our infirmities for the name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and unto the Holy Spirit, but now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and honor to the ages of ages. Amen. On the mount thou wast transfigured, and thy disciples, as much as they could bear, beheld thy glory, O Christ our God, that when they should see thee crucified, they, know would, they would know thy passion to be willing, and would preach to the world that thou, in truth, art the effulgence of the Father. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 for love is the righteousness, mercy, and sinners to call us all to salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour and guide our life towards our commandments. Sanctify our souls, make just our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with the holy angels, that guided and guarded by their array, who may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. Blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than a cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than a seraphim, with thee without production, give us birth to God the word, the very theotokal seed we magnify, in the name of the Lord, Father, blessed. God be gracious unto us, and bless us, and cause his face to shine upon us, and immerse in us. Amen. O sovereign Master, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and now, O Holy Spirit, one God, have one power, have mercy in me, a sinner, and by the judgment of Don, who is me, not in worthy servant, for blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship and fall down before our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and God. O God, in thy name, save me, and in thy strength, do thou judge me. O God, hearken unto my prayer, give ear unto the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, mighty men have sought out of my soul, have not set God before themselves. For behold, the God helpeth me, the Lord is the protector of my soul. He will bring evils upon mine enemies, utterly destroy them by thy truth. Willingly shall I sacrifice unto thee. I will confess thy name, O Lord, for it is good, for out of every affliction as thou deliver me, my eye and look down upon mine enemies. Give ear, God, into my prayer, and disdain not my supplication. Attend to me, and fear me. I was grieved in my meditation. I was troubled at the voice of the enemy, at the oppression of the sinner. Because they have turned iniquity upon me, with wrath were they angry against me. My heart is troubled within me, and the terror of death has fallen upon me. Fear and trembling have come upon me, and darkness have covered me. And I said, Who will give me wings like a dove, and I will fly and be at rest? Lo, I fled afar off, and d
Plunge them into the depths of the Lord and divide their tongues, for I have seen iniquity and gainsaying in the city day and night. They go round about her upon her walls, iniquity and toil and unrighteousness in her midst of her, and usury and deceit have not departed from her streets. For if mine enemy had refiled me, I might have endured it, and if he that had heeded me had spoken both words against me, I might have hid myself from him. But thou it was a man of like soul with me, my guide and my familiar friend, thou who together with me has made my repast in the house of God, I walk with thee in oneness of mine. Let death come upon such ones, and not to go down alive into Hades, where wickedness is in our dwellings, and in the midst of them, as for me and the God of I cried, and the Lord hearken unto me. Even in morning and noonday will I tell of it, and I will declare it, and he will hear my voice, he will redeem my soul in peace. From them I draw nigh to me, for they among many were with me, God will hear, and he will humble them, he that is before the ages, for to them there is no requital, because they have not feared God. He has stretched forth his hand in retribution, they have defiled this covenant, they were scattered by the wrath of his countenance, and their hearts are convened, their words are smoother and oiling, yet there are darts. Cast thy care upon the Lord, and he will nurse thee, he will never permit the righteous to be shaken, but thou, God, shall bring those men down unto the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men should not live on half their days, but as for me, O Lord, I will hope in thee. He He that dwelleth in the help of the Most High shall abide in the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall sing unto the Lord, Thou art my helper, my refuge, he is my God, and I will hope in him. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunters and from every troubling word. With the shoulders will they overshadow thee, and under his wings shall thou have hope. With the shield, with the truth, encompass thee, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the thing that walketh in darkness, nor for the mishap and demon at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but unto thee shall I not come nigh. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold, and thou shalt see the reward of sinners. For thou, Lord, art my hope, thou mayest and most high thy refuge. No evil shall come nigh thee, and no scourge shall draw nigh unto thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge for thee to keep thee in all thy ways. On their hands shall they bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. Upon the asp and basket thou shalt thou tread, and thou shalt trample upon the lion and dragon, for he has set his hope on me, and I will deliver him, I will shelter him, because he hath known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hearken unto him. I am with him in affliction, and I will rescue him and glorify him. With length of days will I satisfy him, and I will show my salvation glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever, and the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. When the stone had been sealed by the Jews and the soldiers were guarding thine immaculate body, thou dost arise on the third day, O Savior, granting life unto the world. Wherefore, the powers of the heavens cried out to thee, O life giver, glory to thy resurrection, O Christ. Glory to thy kingdom, glory to thy dispensation, O only friend of man. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Thou was transfigured on the mountain, O Christ our God, showing thy disciples that a glory as each one could endure. Shine thou on us who are sinners all thy light ever unending. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, life is so, or glory to thee. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. Seeing that we have no boldness on account of our many sins, who thou beseech him, thou was born to thee, O virgin Theotokos, for the supplication of a mother, availeth much to win a master's favor. Disdain not the prayers of sinners, and most august one, for merciful is he, and mighty to save, he that deigned to suffer for our sake. Let thy compassions quickly go before us, O Lord, for we are become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. O Lord, deliver us and be gracious unto our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal of mercy in us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal of mercy in us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal of mercy in us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever and unto the age of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy in us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins, Master, of pardon our iniquities. Holy one, who sit in healing our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever and unto the age of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. On the mouth I was transfigured, and the disciples, as much as they could bear, beheld thy glory, O Christ our God, that when they should see thee crucified, they would know thy passion to be willing, and would preach to the world that thou in truth art the fullness of the Father. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy,
Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of merc
ημέρο σωτηρία το κόσμο γέγονεν, άσομεν το αναστάντη εκ τάφου και αρχηγό της ζωής ημών, καθελών γαρ το θάνατο των θάνατων, τον οίκος εδώ και νημήν και το μεγα
Glory to Thee. Kyrie 
εν το φωτί του προσώπου σου πορεύσονται και εν το όνομα τη σου αγαλιάσονται όλη την ημέρα. Πρέο Βραζίλ, σια εσύ να γοριέ Χριστέ Μπόζε, ποκαζά βιου τσενικόμ τβοήμ, σλάβου τβοιού Ιάκοζε Μοζάκου, δα βοσία ετι να μ γρέσνιμ, σβετ τβοι πρίσνο σουσνι, μολίτβα μη Μπογορόδιτσι, σβετο δαυτσε σλάβα τεβιέ. For in Thee is the fountain of life, O Lord, in Thy light shall we see light. O Son of God, who didst arise from the dead, save us who chant to Thee. Sowing seeds of the true faith, 
Hence they entreat Christ the Savior that we with them may gain eternal life. <coughs> By teachings and godly works thou didst enlighten thy flock. By wonders and signs of grace thou art a light for the world, O clement beloved of God. Wherefore the Slavic peoples magnify thee with ardor, for through thee they are now grafted to Christ our Savior. Beseech him, O sacred herald, to illuminate and save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The repentance of the thief had plundered paradise, and the lamentation of the murderers had proclaimed joy. For thou art risen, O Christ God, granting great mercy unto the world. And in kei kis tu seonas ton eonon amin, et itu orus metemorphosis, ke os e koruni marchitesu, din doxan su Christe o Theos, e Theasando, in aoton se idos ista brumenon, domen pathos no isos in ecusion, to the cosmo kiri Oh. Uh-huh. 
according as we have hoped in thee. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, according as we have hoped in thee. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, according as we have hoped in thee. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, Praise is meet for the upright. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, according as we have hoped in thee. Wisdom. The readings from the first epistle of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Let us attend. Brethren. God hath shown forth us the apostles to be last, as ones appointed to death, for we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men. We are fools for Christ, but ye are wise in Christ. We are weak, but ye are strong. Ye are honorable, but we are despised. Even unto this present hour we both hunger and thirst and are naked and are buffeted and have no certain dwelling place. And we labor working with our own hands. Being reviled we bless. Being persecuted we endure it. Being defamed we entreat. We are made as a filth of the world and are the offscouring of all things unto this day. I write not these things to shame you, but as my beloved sons I admonish you. For though we have ten thousand instructors in Christ, yet have ye not many fathers. For in Christ Jesus I have begotten you through the gospel. Wherefore I beseech you, Imitators of me. Unto me and has subdued peoples under me. Alleluia. 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 It is he that magnifieth the salvation of his king and worketh mercy for his anointed. For David and his seed unto eternity. Alleluia. Alleluia.
Sofia Orthia Cusum and to a Yuvangelio Irini Passi et opnevmatisum το καιρό εκείνο ο άνθρωπο τη προσήλθε το ίσου. Γονι πετών αυτών και λέγον. <coughs> Κύριε, λέει σον μου τον ιόν, ότι σε ελληνιάζεται και κακό πάεσχη. Πολλά κι γαρπίπτη το πυρ και πολλά κι το ίδωρ. <coughs> και βροσύνεγκα αυτών τις μαθητές σου, και ούκοι δυνήθησαν αυτόν θεραπεύσε. Αποκριθείς δε ο Ιησούς είπεν, ο γενναία άπιστος και διαστραμμένη, έως πότε έσω με με θυμόν, έως πότε αν έξω με ημών. Φέρετε μη αυτόν ο δε, και πετίμησεν αυτό ο Ιησούς, και εξήλθεν από αυτού το δαιμόνιον, και θεραπεύθη ο Πες από τις ώρας εκείνης. Τότε προσελθώντες οι μαθητέ του Ιησού, κάτι διανύπων, δια τι εμείς ουκοι δινήθημεν εκβάλλειν αυτό, ο δε Ιησούς είπεν αυτής, διά την απιστίαν ημών, Αμήν γαρ λέγω ημήν, εάν έχετε πίστην ως κόκκον συνάπεως, ρίτε το όρι τούτο, μεταβήθη μετα εντεύθεν εκεί, και μεταβήσετε και ουδέν άδυνατης ημήν. Τούτο δε το γένος ουκ εκπορεύεται, ημίεν προσευχή και νηστεία. Αναστρεφω, αναστρεφωμένον δε αυτόν εις την Γαλιλαίαν, είπεν αυτής ο Ιησούς, μέλη ο Υιός του ανθρώπου, παραδίδωστε εις χείρας ανθρώπων, και αποκτενούσιν αυτόν και τη τρίτη μέρα. Εγερθήσετε, Κύριε, <laughs> Reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Let us attend. At that time there came to Jesus a certain man, kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is a lunatic and sore vexed. For oft times he falleth into the fire, and oft into the water. And I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the demon, and he departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove. <laughs> And nothing shall be impossible unto you, howbeit this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. And while they abode in Galilee, Jesus said unto them, The Son of Man shall be betrayed into the hands of men, and they shall kill him. And the third day he shall be raised again.
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A homily by Archbishop Andre of blessed memory. As last Sunday's Gospel told us about a storm on the Tiberian Sea, in the same way today's Gospel also tells us about a storm, only about a storm which is even more terrible. Back then, there were waves on the sea, but here, listen to what the father of the youth said to Christ. Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and sore vexed, for oft times he falleth into the fire and oft into the water. There, Peter got out of the boat in which the other apostles were sailing. Notice that Christ did not send him as he sent all the disciples across the sea. But Peter himself, filled with the rapture of faith at seeing Christ walking upon the waves, asked for permission to do the same. And what happened? He doubted and started to drown. And Christ said to him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And what about today's gospel? In today's gospel, the father of the possessed son brought him first to the disciples of Christ. The power to cast out devils and to heal sicknesses had been given to them. This seemed to go along with their obedience, and yet they could not heal him. And when the father in deep grief related this to the Lord, Christ in anger exclaimed, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could we not cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Howbeit this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. This is what faith means. But where do we find this faith? Only in the church. The apostles, sailing in the boat in obedience to Christ, despite the storm, did not doubt. Their boat had sides which protected them from the pressure of the waves. It had a bottom which separated them from the water. It had a rudder which guided it. In the same way, the ship of the church has everything which is needed to sail over the sea of life through its storms to the other shore of eternal life. As in the boat, the bottom is its foundation, so in the ship of the church, the foundation is a teaching of Christ which points out the way of life through the Beatitudes. Poverty of spirit, weeping for sins, that is repentance, meekness, hunger and thirst for righteousness, mercifulness, purity of heart, peacemaking, suffering for the truth. This is the foundation of the church ship. In its sides are the apostolic rules. This is everything which Christ has passed on to his apostles which for the most part is again based on Holy Scripture and partially is kept in the treasury of church tradition. And what treasure is being carried by the ship of the church? These are the seven sacraments of the church, which all have their foundation in Holy Scripture. The book of the Acts of the Apostles relates to us about the ordination of priests and deacons from which comes our sacrament of the priesthood. In his first appearance after the resurrection, Christ breathed on the apostles and said, Receive ye the Holy Spirit. Whosoever sins ye remit, they are remitted. Here is the foundation of the sacrament of confession. The words of Christ at the Last Supper, Do this in remembrance of me, and all the chapters from John where it speaks about the bread of life. This is the establishment of the sacrament of communion. The teaching of the apostle Paul about the relationship between husband and wife speaks of the holiness of the sacrament of marriage. In the epistle of James, instructions are given about the anointing of the sick one, uh, anointing of the sick one with oil, and about the prayer of faith for him. And so, with all the sacraments, and still more, all church establishments came from the Lord Himself. Here in today's gospel, it tells about the necessity of fasting and prayer. And this is Christ who says it to His disciples. In the Orthodox Church, there is nothing invented by man or added but neither is there anything subtracted, abbreviated, from the teachings of Christ and his apostles. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. Another Catholic and apostolic church does not exist on earth. So let us treasure our churchship. Let us never abandon it. It has everything for us. It also has this wonderful faith which even moves mountains. And with such faith, nothing will be impossible. It will lead us through the storms of life and will bring us to the shore of life eternal. Amen.
for the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, to God have mercy on us and save us. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according Lord, to thy great mercy, we pray thee hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Again we pray for pious and orthodox Christians. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for our Father and Archbishop Demetrius. Lord have mercy. And his sin of the earth. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for our brethren, priests, priests, monks, deacons, hierodeacons, monks, nuns, and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon and remission of the sins of all pious and orthodox Christians, the founders, donors, and benefactors of this sacred monastery, and for all who keep this Lord holy mercy, peace. Lord, mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of this sacred monastery, and for all our fathers and brethren gone to the rest before us. The Orthodox here and everywhere piously Lord, laid mercy, to rest. Lord, mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our brethren who are about their tasks, and for them that are away, and for all our benefactors, past and present, and for them that minister and have ministered unto us in this sacred Lord, monastery. Have mercy. For a merciful and manly friend in God art thou, and unto thee do we send up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Pray, catechumens, to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Be faithful for the catechumens. Let us pray. Lord have mercy. That the Lord may have mercy on them. Lord have mercy. That He may catechize them with the word of truth. Lord have mercy. That He may reveal unto them the gospel of righteousness. Lord have mercy. That He may unite them to His holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Lord have mercy. Save them. Have mercy on them. Help them and keep them, O God, Lord by Thy grace. Mercy. Ye catechumens, bow your heads unto the Lord. To you. They also with us may glorify thine all honorable majestical name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. As many as our catechumens depart, ye catechumens depart. As many as our catechumens depart, let none of the catechumens remain. As many as are of the faithful, again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Wisdom. For unto thee is the all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom. <clears throat> Opo. Si potu kratu su pano te filato meni si doxa na na pembo men to patrike to io ke to io pna madinin ke ai ke istu se onas to ne onon.
Grosso mente in desi di monto chirio Chirie e lei sol Mi perdo un protetendo un timion d'oro un tu chirio dei tome Chirie e lei sol Per tu hai un guto tu che dorme da piste o se bla via che fove ti usi ondo nel nafto tu che rio dei tome Kyrien e lei son per turisti nei mas sapo passi slipse o sorghis chi indino che anangis tu che rio dei tome Kyrien e lei son andi la bus o son e lei son che di affilax un imas o se osti si chariti Passante li anagien Irini kin kia na marti ton Para tu kriyo e ti sometha Para esku kirie Angelon irini spiston o digon Pilaka ton sikhon ke ton somaton imon Para tu kriyo e ti sometha Para esku kirie Sing no min kia fesin Ton amartion ke ton plime limaton imon Para tu kriyo e ti sometha Para esku kirie Ta kala ke si inferno da tes psiches imon Ke irini to kosmo para tu kriyo e ti sometha Para Εν ειρήνη και μετανία εκτελέσε Παρά του Κρύο έτησο μεθα Παρά εσκου Κύριε Χριστιανά τα τέλη της ζωής ημών Αν όδει να είναι πέσχυν τα ειρηνικά Και καλήν απολογίαν την επί Του φόβερου βήματος του Χριστού έτησο μεθα Παρά εσκου Τις Παναγίας αχράντη περιβλογημένης εν δόξου Δεσποινής ημών Θεοτόκου και αη Παρθένου Μαρίας Με τα πάντων των Αγίων μνημονεύσαντες Εαυτούς και αλλήλους και πάσαν την ζωή ημών Χριστό το Θεό παραθόμεθα Συγκύριε Διά των νυχτήρμων του μονογενούς σου Υιού μεθού ευλογητός Συν το Παναγίο και αγαθό και ζωπιό σου πνεύμα την ίν και αΐ και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Και το πνεύμα Ιησούς. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, being of one essence with the Father by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from the heavens and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, and was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and arose again on the third day according to the scriptures, and ascended into the heavens and sitteth at the right hand of the Father, and shall come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end, and in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets, 
in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Φως εκ φωτός, Θεών αληθινών, εκ Θεού αληθινού, γίνει θέντα, ούπι θέντα, ομού σου πατρίδου τα πάντα αγένετο. Το λιμάς ανθρώπους δια την ημιτέρα σωτηρίαν κατελθόν εκ του ουρανών και σαρκωθέντα εκ πνεύματος Αγίου και Μαρίας Παρθένο και να ανθρωπίσαντα. Σταυρωθέντα τα υπηρημών επί ποντίου πλάτου και παφώντα και τα φέντα, και να στάντα τη τρίτη μέρα κατά τα γραφά, και ανελφώντα στου ουρανού, και καθεζόμενα εκ δαξιών του πατρό, και πάλι ενερχόμενο με τα δόξη, κρίνε ζώντα και νεκρού, που τη βασιλεία που και στα τέλο. Και στο πνεύμα του Άγιον, το κύριον των Ζωφιών, το του πατρό εκπορευόμενο. Το συμπατρικαίο συμπροσκυνούμενον και συνδοξαζόμενον το λαγίσαν διά των προφητών εις μίαν Αγίαν Καθολικήν και Αποστολικήν Εκκλησίαν ομολογώ εν βάπτισμα σάφησιν αμαρτιών προσδοκάν ανάσταση νεκρών και ζει το μέλλον των Let us stand well, let us stand with fear, let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. Amen. Amen. Χαρίστου Κύριε ημών Ιησού Χριστού και αγάπη του Θεού και Πατρός και η κοινωνία του Αγίου Πνεύματος ή με τα πάντων ημών. Και μετά του Πνεύματος σου λέτα ας λεφτά Take it 
Repeat, this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Amen. Drink of it all of you, this is my blood of the New Testament which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Being mindful of this. Τα πάντα και δια πάντα. Εξαιρετός της Παναγίας Σαχράλου, υπερβλογημένης εν δόξου, δεσφήνης ημών Θεοτόκου και αι Παρθένου Μαρίας.
among the first. Remember, O Lord, our Father, and our Archbishop Demetrius, whom do thou grant unto thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, length of days, and rightly dividing the word of thy truth. And always have in mind each and everyone. And each and everyone. And grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify in him thine all honorable majestical name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Que este tai lei tu megalu theu, que sotiro simon Iesu Christu metapan donimon. For the precious gifts offered and sanctified, let us pray to Lord the Lord. Mercy. That our God, who loveth mankind, hath accepted them upon his holy and holy altar above the heavens for an order of spiritual fragrance, will send on upon us in return the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray Lord to the Lord. Mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, Lord with thy grace. Mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask Grant of the Lord. This, o Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Grant let us ask this, of the Lord. Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and offenses. Let us ask Grant of the Lord. This, o Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask Grant of the Lord. This, o Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life. In peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord a Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord, having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves in one another in all our life unto Christ our God. And account us worthy, O Sovereign Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon Thee, the Heavenly God as Father, and to say, Our Father, which art in the heavens, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Πάτερ μου, δε σωρανίσεις, δε γιαστεί το όνομά σου, ελθέ το βασιλεία σου, γεννηθεί το θέλημά σου, όσοι εν ουρανό και επί της γης, τον άρτο μόν των απειούσιων, δώσ' εμ σήμερα και αύσιμην τα οφελήματα ημών, ως και εμείς αφήμην τις οφελέτης ημών, και εμείς εν έγγιση μας πειρασμών, αλλά ρίσαι μας από του πονηρού. Отче наш, и жеси на небесиях, да свети Тия имя Твое, да приде Царствие Твое, да будет воля Твоя, яко на небеси и на земли. Хлеб наш насущный, дай нам днес и остави нам долги наши, яко же мы оставляем должником нашим. И не введи нас в искушение, но избави нас от лукава Господа. Ти суести ни Василия, ке и динамиске и докса, ту патроске, ту ию, ке ту аю пневматоз, нин ке аи. Κύστος αιώνας των αιώνων, πείς ποιον του αιώνου. Bow your heads unto the Lord. By the grace and compassions and love for man of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all-holy and good and life-creating Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. <clears throat> Oh, 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 oh.
the holies, for the holies. Broken the Son of the living God, who can receive the world, receive sinners who remain in you. Furthermore, I believe that this is indeed thy immaculate body, and this is indeed thy precious blood. Wherefore, I pray thee, have mercy on me, and forgive me my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, in knowledge and in ignorance, and vouchsafe that uncondemned I may partake of thine immaculate mysteries under the remission of sins and under life everlasting. Amen. Behold, I approach divine communion, O maker, burn me not as I partake, for fire art thou which burneth thee unworthy, but purify thou me of every stain. And the mystic sufferer, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of the mystery to thine enemies, nor will they give thee a kiss as to Judas. But like the thief, do I confess thee, remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Tremble, O man, as I behold this, to deify blood, for it is a burning coal, consuming the unworthy, the body of God, but deifieth and nourisheth me, it deifieth the spirit, and wonderfully nourisheth the mind. Thou hast smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and by the divine love thou changed me, but with an immaterial fire consume my sins, and come worthy to be filled with the light in thee. I live here for joy, O good one, and may magnify thee to comings, and do the splendor thy saints shall shall I the unworthy one enter, for should I dare to enter the bridal chamber, my vesture doth betray me, for it is not a wedding garment, and as one bound I should be cast up by the angels, cleanse the Lord to defilement of my soul, and save me since thou art a friend of man. O memory friendly master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be unto me for judgment through my unworthiness, but for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body, as an earnest of the life in the kingdom will come, for it is good for me to cleave in a God and place in the Lord to hope of my salvation. Of the mystic supper, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of the mystery to thine enemies, nor will they give thee a kiss as to Judas, but like a thief do I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Remember me, O Master, in thy kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, in thy kingdom. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. By many temptations and my distress, in search of salvation, unto thee have I taken flight, O Mother of the Word, though ever virgin, from all, from all ideals and afflictions, deliver me. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. Attacks of the passions disquiet me. My soul to repletion hath been filled with despondency. Distill them, O maiden, with the calmness of thine own Son and thy God, O blameless one. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To Christ God the Savior thou gavest birth, I beg thee, O Virgin, from afflictions deliver me, for now unto thee I plead for refuge, bringing to thee both my soul and my reasoning. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. Disease is my body and my soul, do thou make me worthy of divine guidance and thy care, O thou who honor God's mother, for thou art good and the birth giver of the good. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. I have thee as a shelter and the defense of my life, thee the Theotokos and Virgin, Pilot and govern me into thy sheltered port, for thou art the author of good things and, and staff of the faithful, are thou only lauded one. Most holy Mother of God, save us. I beseech thee, O Virgin, do thou dispel far from me all of the distress of despair and turbulence of my soul. For thou, O Bride of God, hast given birth to the Lord Christ, who is Prince of Peace, are thou only all blameless one. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Since thou gavest birth unto our benefactor, the cause of good, from the wealth of thy loving kindness do thou, thou pour forth on all, for thou canst do all things, since thou dost bear Christ, the one who is mighty in power, for the blessed of God art thou, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. With most grievous diseases and with corrupt passions too, I am put to trial, O virgin. Come thou unto mine aid, for I know thee to be an inexhaustible treasure of unfailing healing, only all blameless one. 
preserve and save, O Theotokos, the servants from every danger. After God, do all of us for refuge flee unto thee. A firm rampart art thou in our protection. In thy good will look thou on me, O all him, Theotokos, and do thou behold my body's grievous infirmity, and heal thou, thou the cause of my soul's sorrow. O fervent advocate, invincible battlement, fountain of mercy and sheltering retreat for the world, earnestly we cry to thee, O Lady Mother of God, hasten thou and save us from all imperilment, for thou alone art our speedy protectress. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. Lull the tempest of all my sins, and bestill the raging of passions with the calm, for progenitress art thou of him who is Lord and helmsman, O the Bride of God. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. O bestow out of the abyss of thy great compassion on me, the supplicant. Thou, who, thou hast brought forth one compassion to the Savior of all who sing, sing hymns to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. While delighting, O spotless one, in thy many favors, a hymn of thankfulness do we all raise up in song to thee, knowing thee to be the Mother of God. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Having been thee as our staff and hope, and as our, sal as our salvation's unshaken battlement, from all manner of adversity are we then redeemed, O thou allotted one. Most holy Mother of God, save us. Fear one, fill my heart with rejoicing unto plenitude, and grant thine undefiled felicity, since thou didst give birth unto him who is the cause of joy. Most holy Mother of God, save us. Come deliver us out of dangers, O pure Mother of God, since thou art Mother of deliverance, and of the peace which doth surpass all human reasoning. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Dissipate the gloom of my trespasses, O bride of God, with the clear brightness of thy radiance, for thou dost bear the light divine which was before all time. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. Heal, O pure one, heal me, O pure one, of the sickness which the passions bring, and make me worthy of thy guardian seat, and by thy prayers and intercessions grant thy health to me. Most holy mother of God, save us. My nature held by corruption and by death hath he saved from out of death and corruption, for unto death he himself hath submitted. Wherefore, virgin, do thou intercede with him who is in truth thy Lord and Son to redeem me from enemies' wickedness. Most holy mother of God, save us. I know thee as the protection of my life and most safe fortification, O virgin. Disperse the horde of my many temptations and put to silence demonic audacity. Uh, unceasingly I praise, pray to thee from corruption of passion to deliver me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. A bulwark of safe retreat art thou to us, and of souls art thou the perfect salvation, and a relief in distresses, O maiden. And in thy light do we ever exalt with joy. O Lady, do thou also now from all passions and perils deliver us, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Bedridden, I lie supine with sickness now, and no healing for my flesh is existent, except for thee who dost bear the world's Savior, our God, the healer of every infirmity. I pray to thee for that good, from corruption of illness has raised me up. Preserve and save, O Theotokos, thy servants from every danger. After God, do all of us for refuge flee unto thee. A firm rampart art thou in our protection. O spotless one, who inexpressibly in the, the last days did by a word bring forth the word, do thou make request of him as one who hath motherly boldness. O protection of Christians that cannot be put to shame, mediation unto the Creator and most constant. Dis o despise not the suppliant voices of those who have sinned, but be thou quick, O good one, to help to come unto our aid, who in faith cry unto thee. Hasten to intercession and speed thou to make supplication. Thou who dost ever protect the Theotokos and that honor thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Father, Word and Spirit, the Trinity in unity, blot out the multitude of mine offenses, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. By the intercessions of the Theotokos, the merciful one, blot out the multitude of mine offenses. Have mercy in me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgression. O entrust me not, I pray, to any human protection, O Our Lady, Holy One, but do thou accept the prayer of thy supplicant. Sorrow hath fettered me, and I am unable to endure and bear the demon's darts. A shelter have I not, neither place to run. I, the wretched one, in battle from all sides am I, and no consolation have I but thee. Mistress of creation, to protection and hope of faithful ones, turn not away when I pray to thee. Do that which will profit me. From thee is no one turned away, ashamed and empty, who doth run to thee for refuge, O pure virgin Theotokos. But he asketh the favor and receiveth the gift from thee unto the profit of his own request. The transformation of the afflicted and the relief of those in sickness art thou in truth, O virgin Theotokos. Save thy people and thy flock, thou who art the peace of the embattled and who art the calm of the storm driven, the only protectors of those who believe. Most holy mother of God, save us. Having willed thus, O Savior, to dispense us of it, Salvation in thine economy, thou dwellest in the maid's womb, and unto all creation is protectress to show her forth, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. 
Most Holy Mother of God, save us. Make request, O pure Mother, to thy Son, who hath will to grant mercy unto us, to rescue from transgressions and from the soul to defilement those who cry out most faithfully. O God, our our fathers, blessed art thou. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. A fount of incorruption and a tower of safety is she who gave thee birth. A treasure of salvation and portal of repentance hast thou proved her to them that shout. O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Deign to grant restoration from diseases of body and soul to those who run to thy divine protection with faith of Theotokos, and thus grant them recovery from Mother of Christ, our Savior, art thou. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. Do not disdain those who seek the aid that thou dost grant for O Virgin Mother, they do hymn thee, and they all exalt thee unto ages forever. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. On all who hymn thee with faith, O Virgin, and exalt thy truly ineffable offspring, thou dost pour of great abundance of thy cures and healings. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. All the diseases that plague my soul dost thou make well, and the sufferings of the flesh thou healest also. Wherefore, thou meeting full of grace, I glorify thee, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All the, the assaultings of the temptations dost thou quell, and the onslaught of the, pa- onslaughts of the passions dost thou banish. Wherefore do we hymn thee to all ages, O Virgin? Most holy Mother of God, save us. The torrent of my weeping spurn not with refusal, for thou didst give birth to him who, take, who doth take away all tears from every face, O thou Virgin, for he is Christ indeed. Most holy Mother of God, save us. Do thou, O Virgin Maiden, fill my heart with gladness, for thou art she who received all the fullness of joy, and made to vanish away all sorrow of sinfulness. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. A haven and protection, and a wall unshaken, and a rejoicing and shelter and place of retreat, that become, O the Virgin, for those who flee to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Illumine with the radiance of thy light, O Virgin, all those who piously call thee the Mother of God, and do thou banish away all darkness of ignorance, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Brought low am I, O Virgin, in a place of sickness, and in a dwelling of anguish, grant healing to me, transforming all my illness into full healthfulness. It is truly me to call thee blessed Theotokos, the ever blessed and all immaculate and mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Thee who without corruption gave his birth to God the word, the very Theotokos, thee to magnify. Higher than the heavens above all art thou, and thou art <coughs> not higher than the radiance of the, of the sun, for thou hast redeemed us out of the curse that held us. O mistress of creation, with him so we honor thee. From the great abundance of all my sins, ill am I in body, ailing also am I in soul. Thee have I as refuge, do thou therefore help me, O hope of all the hopeless, without full of grace. O Lady and Mother of Christ our God, receive supplication from us wretches who beg of thee, that thou make entreaty unto the one born from thee. O Mistress of creation, thou intercede for us. Now we chant with eagerness unto thee, with this O most joyful of all him, Mother of our God, together with the Baptists and all the saintly choirs, beseech with the Atokos that we find clemency. Speechless be the lips of the impious who refuse to reverence thy revered icon, which is known by the name Directress, and which hath been depicted for us by the Apostle Luke the Evangelist. While ye arrays evangelicals with the Holy Baptist, the Apostles' twelve numbered band, all the saints together, as well as God's birth giver, pray, making intercession for our deliverance. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy on us, for lacking as we are in all defense, this supplication do we sinners offer unto thee as our Master, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy on us, for in thee have we placed all our trust. Be not wroth with us greatly, nor do thou remember our iniquities. But look upon us even now, since thou art compassionate, and thou redeem us from our enemies. For thou art a God, and we thy people, all of the works of thy hands, and upon thy name have we called. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Do thou open the portal of compassion unto us, O most blessed Theotokos, for hope in thee, let us not fail, we pray. Through thee may we be delivered from adversities, for thou art the salvation of the Christian race. O ye apostles from afar, being now gathered together here in the vale of Gethsemane, give burial to my body, and thou, my Son, and my God, receive thou my spirit. Thou art the sweetness of angels, the gladness of afflicted ones, and the protectress of Christians, O Virgin Mother of our Lord. Be thou my helper, and save me from out of eternal torments. I have thee as mediatress with a man befriending God. May he not censure my actions before the host of the angels. I supplicate thee, O Virgin, come unto mine aid most quickly. Thou art a golden twined tower, and twelve wall encircled city, a throne besprinkled with sunbeams, a royal chair of the king. O inexplicable wonder that thou dost feed the master.
and Master, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, source of life and immortality, who are the maker of all creation, both visible and invisible, the co-eternal and co-beginning, the Son of the beginning, his Father, who in the abundance of the goodness was in the last days, clothed in flesh, was crucified and buried for us, the ungrateful and thankless ones, and by thine own blood, they should be fashioned our nature, which have been corrupted by sin. Do thou thyself, O immortal King, accept for repentance even to me, a sinner, and incline near to me, and hear my words, for I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and I am not worthy to gaze upon the height of thy glory, for I provoke thy goodness by transgressing thy commandments and not obeying thine ordinances. But thou, O Lord, who art forbearing, long suffering, plenteous and mercy, has not given me yet to perish mine iniquities, most surely awaiting my conversion. For thou, O friend of man, hast said through thy prophet, that thou dost not desire, but desire the death of a sinner, but that he should return and live, for thou dost not will, O Master, that the work of thy hand should perish, neither are thou well pleased in the perdition of men. But thou desirest that all should be saved and come to a knowledge of the truth. Wherefore, though I am unworthy of both heaven and earth, and even of this transient life, since I have fully subjected myself to sin, and in a slave of pleasures, and that to face thine image, yet being thy work in creation, I, the wretched one, did not despair of my salvation, but emboldened by the immeasurable compassion I draw nigh. Wherefore, receive even me, O Christ, the friend of man, as all this, the harlot, the thief, the publican, and the prodigal, and take away the heavy burden of my sins, without it, take away the sin of the world, and heal us men's infirmities. We call it through thyself, they might labor in our heavy laden, and give us some rest. To him is not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance, and cleanse me of all defilement, of flesh, and spirit, and teach me to attain holiness and fear of thee, that with the witness of my conscience pure. I may receive a portion of the holy gifts and be united with thy holy body and blood and heavenly dwelling and abiding in me with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Yea, O Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not speak me in another mac that the night created mysteries be to me for judgment, nor may I become infirm in soul and body by partaking of them unworthily. But grant me to my last breath to receive without condemnation a portion of thy holy gifts for communion with the Holy Spirit as a provision of life everlasting as for an acceptable defense of the good tribunal. That even I, with all thine elect, may become a partaker of the undefiled good things which I was prepared for them that love thee, O Lord, in whom thou art glorified unto the ages. Amen. I know, O Lord, that I partake in thine immaculate body, and I press his blood unworthily, and I am guilty in eating and drink judgment to myself, not discerning the body and blood of thee, my Christ and God, but trusting in thy compassions. I take courage and approach you who to say, He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood abideth me, and I in him. Wherefore, have compassion, O Lord, and make not an example of me, a sinner, but deal with me according to thy mercy, and let these holy gifts be unto my healing and purification, and enlightenment and protection, and salvation and sanctification of both soul and body, and unto, unto the averting of every fantasy and evil deed and diabolical operation working no ethically in my members, unto confidence and love toward thee, unto amendment of life and stability, unto an increase of virtue and perfection, to fulfillment of the commandments, and to commune with the Holy Spirit, and as a provision for life everlasting, and for an acceptable defense of the dread tribunal, not under judgment, nor under condemnation. O Lord my God, I know that I am not worthy nor sufficient that thou shouldest come under the roof of the house of my soul, for all is desolate and fallen, and thou hast not in me a place worthy to lay thy head. But even as from on high thou dost humble thyself for our sake, so now conform thyself to my loneliness, and even as thou dost deign to lie in the cave in the manger of irrational beasts, so also deign to lie in the manger of my irrational soul and enter into my defiled body, and even as thou dost not disdain to enter into thine with sinners in the house of Simon the leper, so consent also to enter in the house of my lowly soul, which is leprous and sinful. And even as thou dost not reject a woman as a harlot and sinner like me, when she approach and touch thee, so also be compassionate with me, a sinner, as I approach and touch thee. And as thou dost not afford a defiled and polluted mouth which kiss thee, neither do thou afford my mouth which is with uh, my mouth yet more defiled and polluted in hers, nor my lips which are loathsome and pure and unholy, nor my tongue yet more unclean. But let the live coal of thy all holy body, and thy precious blood be into sanctification and enlightenment and strengthening of my humble soul and body, unto alleviation of the burden of my many offenses unto defense against every operation of the devil, unto the averting and hindering of my vile and wicked habits, unto the mortification of the passions, unto the accomplishment of thy commandments, unto an increase of thy divine grace, unto the attainment of thy kingdom. For it is not as one presumptuous that I draw nigh to thee, O Christ my God, but as one taking courage in thine ineffable goodness, that I may not by long abstaining from thy communion become the prey of the noetic wolf. Wherefore, I pray thee who alone art holy, O Master, sanctify my soul and body, my mind and heart, my reins and bowels, and holy renew me. Root the fear of thee in my members, and make thy sanctification available within me. Be thou my helper and defender, and guide my life in peace. And make me worthy to stand at the right hand with thy saints, by the prayers and intercessions of the all Immaculate Mother, and thine immaterial ministers, and Immaculate Powers, and of all the saints, who from ages past have been well pleasing unto thee. Amen. I am not sufficient, O Master and Lord, that thou shouldest enter into the roof of my soul, but since thou wast a friend of man, dost will to dwell within me with trust. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, 
Both shepherd and lamb who takest away the sins of the world, who didst remit the loaner to two, unto the two debtors, and didst vouchsafe safe to the woman who was a sinner the remission of her sins. Do thou, the same Lord, loose, remit, forgive the sins and transgressions and iniquities, both voluntary and involuntary, whether of willfulness or of ignorance, which have been committed unto guilt and disobedience by these thy servants. And if they be bearing flesh and dwelling in the world, and that they are human, have in any way been, been beguiled of the devil, if in word or deed, <coughs> whether wittily or unwittingly they have sinned, either condemning the word of a priest or falling under his anathema or broken their oath, do thou the same master, and that thou art good and cherishest not ill will. Graciously grant unto these thy servants the word of absolution, remitting unto them their anathema and curse according to thy great mercy. Yea, O Lord and Master, who lovest mankind, hearken thou unto us who make our petitions unto thy goodness on behalf of these thy servants, and disregard thou all their errors, inasmuch as thou art exceedingly merciful, and loose them from punishment eternal. For thou hast said, O Master, whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. For thou alone art without sin, and, for thou alone art without sin, and unto thee do we send thy glory, together with thy Father without, with, who is without, beginning thine all holy and good in life, creating spirit now unto the ages of ages. <coughs> The grace of the Holy Spirit hath the absolved and and forgiven of all the sins now and in the age to come through my name and the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit now and, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Confess that thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the chief. Furthermore, I believe that this is indeed thine immaculate body, and that this is indeed thy precious blood. Wherefore I pray thee, have mercy on me, forgive my transgression, both voluntary and involuntary, in word, in deed, in knowledge, and in ignorance, and vouchsafe that uncondemned I may partake of thine immaculate mysteries, unto the remission of sins, unto life everlasting. Amen. Receive me today. 
ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let our mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that we may him thy glory. For thou hast counted us worthy to partake of thy holy mysteries. Preserve us in thy sanctification, meditating on thy righteousness all the day long. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Upright, having partaken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, and life-creating, fearful mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Having asked that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. Unto thee, o Lord. For thou art our sanctification, unto thee do we send the glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In peace let us depart. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Oi, Belovon, to Sebelovon, to Sekire, to Ayaz, and to Sekisip, to Pithota, so son, to Laon, to Kevlogi, to Tinglironomia, το πλήρωμα της Εκκλησίας σου φύλαξον Αγία σου, αν τους αγαπώντας την ευπρέπεια του οίκου σου, σύ αυτούς αν τη δόξα σου, αν τη θεϊκή σου δυνάμει και μη εγκαταλείπηση μας τους ελπίζοντας επί σε. <coughs> Ειρήνη το κόσμο σου δώρησε της Εκκλησίας σου, της ηρεύσης, άρχος, νήμαν και πανή το λαό σου, ότι πάσα δόσεις αγαθή και πάν δόρη ματέριν άνθεν εστί καταβαίνουν εξού του πατρός των φώτων. Και εσύ την δόξαν και ευχαριστήν και προσκύνησεν να πέμπομεν τον Πατρί και το Υιό και το Υιό Πνεύμα την Ινκία Ή και Ιησούς αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Ή το όνομα Κυρίου ευλογημένον ακού struggles and below the church that flood the heavenly glory thou foundest by thy contests and pains so glorious panurious <laughs> perfection by the word, O Lord, and has commanded the earth to produce fruits of every kind for enjoyment and sustenance, with grains to show the three children Daniel to be fairer than them that in Babylon live sumptuously. 
Do thou, supremely, do thou, supremely good King, bless these grains and this Panarubhita with these diverse fruits and sanctify them that partake, part, that partake their offers unto thy glory, Lord, and that, have, that they have been presented by thy servants, Themistocles, Ravada Vasilikis, Panayuts and their families, and, and, and in honor and memory of our righteous Father, Amelia, and the Confessor, Bishop of Sisyphus, St. Myron, the Wonder Worker, Bishop of Crete, our righteous Father Theodosius, Abbot of Rubi, the Holy Martyrs of Eleftherius, Leonidas, the, and the infants with them, the Holy Ten Ascetics of Egypt, the Holy Two Martyrs of Tyre, the Holy Martyrs Dirachius, the Holy New Martyr Terendophilus of Zagora in Magnesia, the Holy New Martyr Anastasius of Macedonia, our righteous Father Coleman of Lindisfarne, our righteous Fathers Gregory the Iconographer the Greg and Gregory the Wonder Worker of the Key of Caves, our righteous Fathers Osimas and Sabatis of Solovki, the Recovery whose held wrecks we commemorate, our righteous Father Euphemius, Abbot of the Monastery of the Baptist in Georgia, and also in memory of them that have finished their life in godly faith. And do thou, good one, grant unto them that have prepared these things, and celebrate this memory, their every salutary request, and the enjoyment of thine everlasting good things. By the intercessions of all Immaculate Theotokos and Ever Virgin Mary, of our righteous Father, and believe in the Confessor, Bishop of Sisica, St. Myron, the Wonder Worker, Bishop of Crete, <coughs> the Holy New Martyr, <coughs> Triandathilus of Zagora and Magnesia, our righteous Father, Zosimus and Sabatius of Solovki, the recovery whose holy works we commemorate, <coughs> whose memory also we celebrate in all thy saints, for thou, art, for thou art he that blesseth and sanctifieth all things of Christ our God, and unto thee do we send up glory with thy Father, who is with thou, beginning and then all holy and good and life creating spirit. Now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy. <clears throat> the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you by his divine grace and love for men, always now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, a hope, O Lord, glory be to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Holy Father, bless. <clears throat> He that arose from the dead, Christ our true God, by the intercessions of his all immaculate blame, his holy mother, by the power of the honor and life in Christ, with the protection of the venerable, the sparse applications of the venerable, glorious power from Baptist John, the holy glorious of the apostles, Peter and Paul, the chiefs, the twelve and seventy, Father among saints, Nicholas of Marilicia, of the holy glorious great martyrs, George, the Church, the Virgin, Mr. Mishim, the holy glorious and triumphant victorious martyrs, the Russian God bearing fathers, Clement, and now we the the wonder workers, Sarah from Mr. Rob, Herman of Alaska, in the sin of of Alaska, taken the confessor, page of Moscow. Juvenile, uh, our, our appeal the alley, our fathers, among the saints, your confessors, filled in New York, like Katie, Romanic, your social, most of the Lord, and righteous mother, sending that I see the fools for Christ's sake, of our holy patron, John Maximovich, Archbishop of San Francisco, the one to work with the holy right chances of God, Joachim Nana. our righteous father, and living the confessor, Bishop of Zizekas, St. Myron, the wonder worker, Bishop of Crete, and the holy new martyr, Trinopolis, of Zagor, and Magnesia, and our righteous father, Zosimas. And Sabatius of Solovki, that recovers his holy relics, we commemorate. His memory keeping the Father among Saints, John, Christus, the Marsh, Bishop of Constantinople, the Divine Liturgy, we have celebrated. And of all the saints, members, and save us, praise God, and the friend of men. Through the prayers of the Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, and mercy, and save us. Amen. Having attained the good communion of the life, good you mystic, is for you give praise and great thanksgiving for winning from thy soul, crying to God. Glory to thee, O God. Glory to thee, O God. Glory to thee, O God. I thank thee, O Lord my God, that thou hast not rejected me as a sinner, but hast deemed me worthy to be a communicant to thy holy mysteries. I thank thee that thou hast deemed me worthy and worthy as I am to partake of the immaculate and heavenly gifts, but a member of any master who does die for us and rise again and is granted his dread and life creating mysteries. For the benefit and sanctification of our souls and bodies, grant also that these may be in me for the healing of both soul and body, for the averting of everything hostile, for the enlightenment of the eyes of my heart, for the peace of the powers of my soul. For love unfeigned, for faith unashamed, for the plenitude of wisdom, and for the keeping of thy commandments, and for an increase of thy divine grace, and for the attainment of thy kingdom. And being kept by them in thy holiness, I may ever remember thy grace, and never live for myself, but for thee, your master and benefactor. And thus, when from this life I pass to hope in life eternal, I may attain to everlasting rest, where the sound is unceasing and them a festival, and unending the delight of them that behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance. For thou art a true desire and the unutterable gladness of them that love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation praises thee unto the ages. Amen. O Master Christ God, King of the ages and Creator of all, I thank Thee for all the good things which else bestowed upon me and for the participation in thine immaculate and life-creating mysteries. I pray Thee, therefore, O good one, O friend of man, guard me under Thy protection and in the shadow of Thy wings, and grant away the pure conscience in my last breath, that I may worthily partake of Thy holy gifts under forgiveness of sins and life everlasting. For Thou art a bread of life, the wellspring of holiness, and a giver of all that is good, and the deed of the glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. 
Thou who givest me willingly as nourishment, thy flesh, thou who art fire, and hast consumed the unworthy scorch me not, O may maker, but rather pass through me for the right ordering of my members and of all my joints, my reins and my heart. Burn up the thorns of all my defenses, purify my soul, sanctify my mind, make firm my knees and bones, enlighten the simple unity of my five senses, nail down the holy thing with thy fear. Ever shelter guard and keep me from every soul corrupting deed and word, purify and cleanse and order me aright, make me comely, give me understanding and enlighten me, show me forth as a habitation of the spirit only and no longer as a habitation of sin. That is thine abode from the entrance end of thy communion. Every evildoer and passion may flee from me like fire. As intercessors, I bring to thee all the sanctify, the ranks of the incorporeal powers, thy forerunner, the wise apostles, and further thy pure and spotless mother, the prayers of these receive. O my compassionate Christ, and it maketh me who worship thee, a child of life, for thou alone art our sanctification, O good one, and the illumination of our souls. And unto thee, as our God and Master, each day is his fitting, all sin of glory. May thy holy <clears throat> body, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, be unto me for eternal life, and thy precious blood for the forgiveness of sins, and may this Eucharist be unto me for joy, health, and gladness. And in thy dread second coming, make me the sinner worthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory, by the intercessions of thine all immaculate mother, and of all thy saints, amen. While holy lady, fail, took us the light of my darkened soul, my hope and protection, my refuge and consolation, and my joy. I thank thee that thou hast deemed me the unworthy one, worthy to be a communicant to the immaculate body and precious blood of thy Son. But do thou who gave his birth to the true light, enlighten thee in the wedded eyes of my heart. O thou who didst conceive the source of immortality, give life to me from dead in sin. O thou who art the compassionately loving mother of the merciful God, have mercy in me and give me compunction and contrition of heart, humility of my reasons, and recall my thoughts from your captivity. And leave me worthy to my last breath to receive without condemnation the sanctification of the immaculate mysteries under the healing of the soul and body. And grant me tears of repentance and confession that I may have and glorify thee all the days of my life. And blessed and glorified are thou unto the ages. O te evlogi meni ke dudoxas meni par kisi sustevona ston neonu. O blessed and glorified are thou unto the ages. Amen. Nina polis ston dulu sudas bote kata torima sveni rino ti doni oktalimi to so ti rion so iti masas kata prosu bom pandu ton laun. Voice apocalypse in the name of the Lord, Israel, now let us have thy servant depart in peace, O Master, according to thy word from my eyes, I have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light of revelation to the nations, the glory of thy people, Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal of mercy in us, holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal of mercy in us, holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal of mercy in us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever, and to the age of the good of the name. O Holy Trinity of mercy in us, Lord, be gracious in our sins, Master, pardon our iniquities, Holy One, just in heal our infirmities for the name's sake. Lord, of mercy, Lord, of mercy, Lord, of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever, and to the age of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, and forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the age of ages. Amen. Grace shining forth from thy mouth like a beacon at the luminous universe and disclosed to the world treasures of covetousness and shown us the heights of humility, but also instructing us by the words of Father John, for so from intercede with the word of Christ our God to save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, from the heavens has received divine grace, and by thy lips thou teach all the worship of one God and Trinity, O John Chrysostom, O blessed righteous one. Rightly do we acclaim thee, for thou art our teacher, revealing things divine, both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. By the intercession of the Lord of all the saints and the Theotokos, do thou grant us thy peace and have mercy in us, since thou alone art compassionate. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever end of the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. And he, without corruption, gave his birth to God, the word, the very thing, the seed to be magnified in the name of the Lord. Father, bless. Amen. <clears throat> glory to thee, O God, O hope, O Lord, glory be to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. He that arose from the dead, Christ, our true God, by the intercessions of His only man, no blameless, holy mother, of our holy patron, John Maximovic, Archbishop of San Francisco, the one to work with the Holy Rosary, and God, Joachim, and Anna, of the of righteous Father, Emily, and the Confessor, Bishop of Sisychus, St. Myron, the, the one to work with Bishop of Crete. And the Holy New Martyr, Trinophilus of Zagora, Zagora in Magnesia, and our righteous fathers, Osimas and Sabatis of Solovki, the recovery of whose holy relics we commemorate his memory keep, and the Father among Saints John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, whose divine liturgy we have celebrated, and of all the saints, may he and save us, praise be the friend of man. <laughs> On the mount that was transfigured, and thy disciples as much as they could bear, beheld thy glory, O Christ our God, that when they should see thee crucified, they would know thy passion to be willing, and would preach to the world that thou in truth art the effulgence of the Father. Lord Jesus, 
Jesus Christ, our God, our mercy and save us. Amen. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf. The great wonder work, Archbishop John in the highest heaven, now rejoiceth eternally and prays for those who keep his memory, those with love crowned his struggles with hymns of praise. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf. May he who once walked here upon the earth like an earthly angel sent by God to enlighten men, now strengthen us by his intercessions, that we may walk in the ways of our Lord's commands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Though little in the stature of righteous John, yet there was a giant in the spirit of Christ the Lord, as was evinced clearly by thy wonders. Let's pray that we too may grow in our life in Christ, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O all holy Lady, Mother of God, thou art encircled by the angels and by the saved, now cleanse us of soul corrupting passions, that we may join their pure ranks in the realms on high. O hierarch of Christ, intercede in our behalf. Like the lady of the hierarch who prayed all night sleeplessly, thou, a wondrous struggler, dost also pray to our triumph God at night till break of day, to the amazement of angels, and to the salvation of all who turn unto thee. O hierarch of Christ, intercede in our behalf. Through thy patron, Saint Michael, in early years, thou hast filled with love for the Savior, O wise John, whom thou dost seek to please by the strict way of life, thus emulating the righteous, thou dost grow virtuous, one chosen by the Lord, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In all trials and illness and grievous times, we all turn to thy sacred image with much faith and we receive through thee from our compassion and our most loving creator, grace and consolation and strength in our heart and mind, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. At a loss, how to whom thee do to mine own sinfulness, O pure Theotokos and virgin, I offer unto thee as a pure joy, so to true and heartfelt repentance, and instead of incense, receive thou my love for thee, O Hark of Christ, and your seed on our behalf. The divine ladder thou dost climb, zealously ascending unto the throne of grace, and with gifts received from Christ the Lord, thou dost tend thy sacred flock, O wondrous John. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf. With the cross of our Master Christ, bless us, O great Hierarch, lest we sleep unto death. They awaken us to seek the Lord, that we may receive the Savior's joyous light. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. By the rules of Pacomius, given by an angel to sell his among hence thy heart was filled with grace divine, and thou dost excel in the angelic life, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. With one voice and with heart and mind, let us all the Virgin, the Mother of our God, and her icon that is kissed with love, thanking her for blessings given unto us. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf. As a higher monk, thou dost teach thy zealous students well to worship Christ in truth and piety. Thus help us also by the prayers of saint to do the same. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf. As thou once didst heal all the ailing with the icon of the blessed one, which blossom forth with grace, so come with him and heal our souls, O ever wondrous John. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf. To Archbishop John, the good shepherd of the Church of Christ, let us now offer joyous hymns of praise, for he still guideth all the faithful who pray unto him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Children ran to thee for thy blessing, O thou child like John, for they perceived that Christ God dwelt in thee, and we too praise thee for thy Christ like true humility, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Angels all pure one in the heavens <coughs> Angels all pure one in the heavens, praise thy holy name, while here on earth we also call thee blessed, for thou didst give birth to the Lord, our loving Saviour Christ. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede in our behalf. In Shanghai thou dost restore to unity all the faithful who to then have been scattered, and from the streets thou dost gather the orphans, like the good shepherd who findeth his strange sheep. Hence, show thy loving care to us who have gathered this day to revere thy name. O Hierarch of Christ, did you see on our behalf? An angel was thou on earth, a zealous one, for the struggles were beyond comprehension. For thou didst pray day and night with strict fasting like the ascetics of old in these latter times. Hence, thou dost swiftly fly to Christ on the wings of thy virtues, O blessed John. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Hierarch, from whom the light of Christ shone forth as was manifestly seen by the faithful, now shine on me whom walking in darkness and lead me to the pastures of grace and life. For thou hast boldness with the Lord to accomplish great wonders, O righteous John. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, Amen. The Savior, O all pure, ever virgin, made chose thee from all womankind for his mother. For by a woman sent thee by the angel Christ God, the Word was incarnate within thy womb and sprang from thee, O spotless one, as one mighty to conquer the ancient foe. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf. On the sick and imprisoned, on the needy and dying, to stop and sell thy love. And through thy prayers, O, o Hierarch, the Lord worked wondrous healings to the marvel of all the world. Hence shed thy, mo thy mercy and love on me, thy lowly servant. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf. By the prayers of God's mother, the all holy directress, to so bring forth thy flock into the lands of freedom where they could serve the Savior far away from the godless foe, thus like great most of old, thou lettest forth God's people. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, like a bright luminary bringing warmth to the faithful in all parts of the earth, so thou, a wondrous hierarch, didst bless the lands of Russia, China, France, and the Netherlands, and last of all, thou hast blessed America, our homeland, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. To the ailing and suffering, to the poor, blind, and naked, to thou distribute gifts of grace and consolation, O joy of all the sorrow, shine the light of thy countenance on us, who him thee, O made, and make thine intercessions, O Hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf. To the foolish, vain world, did the, to the foolish, vain world did think thee mad, O God bearer, for they could not see <clears throat> that thou wast guided by the Holy Spirit, who ruled thy thoughts and actions. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf. For veneration, thou dost make known to the faithful saints from the West, who shone forth brightly in the undefiled and true Orthodox confession. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From all thy labors, thou dost repose in Seattle like a shining lamp whose light is snuffed out. But now in the kingdom thou shinest ever brighter, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In thee, O maiden, we find our cause for rejoicing.
For thou, hast, for thou didst give birth to Christ who saved us, and by his great mercy raised up our fallen nature. Most rightly we confess thee as our God's birth giver, we with thee have been saved with our virgin, most pure, with choirs of body, this angel seed we magnify. O hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf. A true confessing hierarch was thou, wise father, as thou didst not yield to threats from the surge in his church. Hence Christ, the Lord, our, church, our chief shepherd, crown thee with endless life. O hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf. To that young boy who lay in a near fatal coma to South here, blessed John, and just raised him to life, hence he now singeth thy praises with us in gratitude. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thine incorrupt and fragrant sacred holy relics are a pure fountain and source of miraculous cures, and a sure haven and refuge for those in every need, both now and ever done to the ages of ages. Amen. I pray thee, Theotokos, look upon thy servant, and grant compunction to me, who am burdened by sins, that I may take up that sweet yoke of our dear Savior Christ. It is truly me to call thee blessed, the Theotokos, the ever blessed and all immaculate mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, man beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gives birth to God the word, the very Theotokos, thee to be magnified. Waves rejoice around me, the wretched one is the Lord's great hierarch, the blessed John is drawn nigh to me, bringing with him healings of heart and mind and body, and I now glorify him who came from heaven's heights. Shanghai, for joy and chant, praise the God, Brussels be exultant, cry for Zenith, the Christ, the Lord, and with hymns and anthems rejoice to San Francisco, for John the godly pastor is glorified today. Let us bless the merciful man of prayer, blessed John of Shanghai, San Francisco's great joy and boast, for our wondrous hierarch who gained eternal glory in his zealousy and treated Christ God to save our souls. Once our Lord and Master brought back to life Jairus' dead daughter who was then but twelve years of age. Now God's wondrous hierarch, St. John of San Francisco, has saved a child from sure death by his most righteous prayers. Having kept the feast of the righteous John, let us send up glory to our God for his wondrous saints. For though we all go through great trials in this brief life, yet by our hierarch's blessings we shall attain true life. Encircled by the prophets of bride of God, doubt us coming glory to receive the pure pious soul of the Lord's great hierarch, St. John of San Francisco, who met thee in the heavens with the angelic host. Moved by God the Spirit, thou set forth St. Gnomes, blessed icon of the day of thy blessed repose. Hence the saint received thee together with the virgin into the highest heaven, no wonder where could John. O ye are raised, evangelic host of the Holy Baptist, the Apostles, twelve number band, all the saints together, as well as God's birth giver, pray make intercession for our deliverance. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Like our spiritual day star in heaven's firmament, thou didst encompass the whole world and its enlightenment souls. And thy name is glorified throughout the east and west. For thou didst shine forth with the grace of the Son of Righteousness, O John, our beloved Shepherd. Wherefore cease not to entreat Christ, that he show mercy and redeem our souls. Thank you. 